All right, as I promised, we're doing another Luigi's Mansion 2 stream this morning because uh, I'm in a good mood this time and I want to, you know, get the second mansion done, which I believe is more um, finished than the last one. I mean, hey, look at that. Look at that completion, though. That's some pretty good completion. I spent 14 hours on this game. Oh, boy. And I got 21 booze. I mean, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good amount of booze. Anyways, I do have the, um... Oh, by the way, I'm Gooigi now. <laughs> yeah, I, uh... I found this one. Uh, I was go... There was another mod that I was gonna try today called the Wega me uh, Meme or whatever. Where it basically makes Luigi inverted and gives him, like, creepy eyes. But, um... I tried it out. It crashes when you boot up the game on Switch. So, we're not gonna do that one. We're gonna do Gooigi instead. Now, technically, this game predates Gooigi by about, uh, five years, I think? Four or five years? Because, uh, Gooigi was in the Luigi's Mansion 1 remake, which, honestly, I maybe might play that someday, I don't know. Even if it's kind of crappy. So, yeah. Gloomy Manor is 100% complete, except for the gradual infiltration, which I will do after I finish Haunted Towers. So... I need to go back to all of the levels. I like how I have gold stars in a few of the levels here. So we need to do B1 to get the boo, and apparently you can get the triangle in this level as well. Although I should probably check my, my gems. Yeah, the triangle and the uh, oval is in this level. So we should probably look for that. Uh, the round gem is in the tower lobby. Okay. So yeah, let's play some Loogie's Mansion. Some, or, uh, or as I called it on stream, Loogie's Woogie. Which, um, sounds kind of weird. Well. What are we looking for? Okay, the Hydro Generator. The Hydro Generator is where the Boo is. And I need to look for the Tower Lobby and Laboratory. Where is the Laboratory? Uh, there, there's the Tower Lobby. Which one's the Laboratory? Hmm. I'm not sure, actually. There's the Crypt. Is the, is the laboratory uh, underground or something? That's what I'm wondering about. Hmm. Toolshed East Hall, Toolshed Stairs. Okay. Tower Lobby is the first one we need to go to. That one, that's where the gem is. Why am I getting money? I don't need money. <laughs> I just need to get inside the mansion. Yeah. And also, um... Probably should mention, the Guiji, he comes with his own effects, so I had to install some effects too. So I kind of threw those on as well. I'm not sure how it's going to, um... I'm not sure how it's going to affect... Oh, well, I mean... I can already kind of see it. The light is green. Yeah. Prum, prum, prum. I do like. I do really like the music in this mansion. And even though the music is, um, you know, not as memorable as the other, as the first Luigi's Mansion. I mean, I mean, nothing will be as memorable as that game. You know, to me, the first game's timeless. I can go back to it any day of the week. Look at this dumbass. Aww. <laughs> okay, so the boo's in here somewhere. I don't know where, though. Oh, there he is. Yeah, so this is where the boo is. 
One, two, we all love Mambu, except for you. <laughs> Alright, you're gonna die, Boo. He's inflating! Well, or he's deflating? Camera? <laughs> Camera doesn't want to cooperate with me there. Oh. <laughs> yeah, let me just grab that key real quick. This boo is kind of tricky to get. The camera is... camera is kind of trying really hard to keep up with this boo. <laughs> so yeah, that's the first boo. And, um... Can't go in there. Uh -uh. At least he tries to go in there, but he can't. I don't know. It kind of makes me want to try more 60 FPS mods on other um, on other games. I would have tried it with um, Brothership, but um, you know I already beat that game, so I can't really do that now, can I? So apparently there's a gem in here, somewhere. I apparently missed it somehow. I gotta figure out how to... how to get the gem though, because I don't remember. Let me see what it says. It says, on the left side, the player can walk behind the stairs. Okay. Behind the stairs, I see. Alright, I'm just gonna ignore you bozos. <laughs> or not. It won't let me. Alright, come out and approach me. You think that's gonna fool me? Okay. Uh. <laughs> Alright, approach me. They're pretty they're pretty quick at at reflecting back. Hey, hey, approach me. Approach me. I got my health back. Okay, so pa past the stairs. Oh wow, that's so easy, bro. How the fuck did I miss that? Yeah, I don't know. That that I don't really understand. <laughs> okay, so laboratory. Where's the laboratory? I, I don't know. It's fun to say laboratory instead of laboratory. I don't know. Just me? Okay. <laughs> All right, plant gangs. You gotta you gotta die today. Anyways, I did finally watch uh, Harry Potter 2 last night, Chamber Secrets, which was a great, which was a pretty great watch. I think, I mean, I think I remember that one the most, like out of the four Harry Potter games we played in Lego Harry Potter. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's really funny because I remember making this comment when I played um, Lego Harry Potter, and I was like, I'm gonna watch. Uh, you know, Chamber Secrets, and it's gonna, I'm gonna turn out, it's gonna turn out that, you know, Tom Riddle's just some guy, <laughs> and he really is just some guy in the movie, and I was, like, like kind of disappointed, like, he, he doesn't look as, he doesn't look as cool as he does in, um, the game. Also, me finding out that Tom Riddle's only 16 years old is kind of wild. <laughs> he looks older in the game. Oh, here's the laboratory. Oh, the gem's right there, bro. How do I get that, though? I'm trying to catch you, trying to catch the, the mice? Hmm. Oh, hello, buddy. Hang <laughs> on. All 
Alright. You gonna approach me again? Wow, look at that. Look how fast that was. I don't know, it, it might just be another case of a placebo effect. But, um... Oh. But I don't know, 60 FPS just makes the game feel faster. Wait, hang on a second. I can use the, uh, the balloon flower here, can't I? Maybe? Um, how do I get this, then? Mm, the player should use a bulb to float into the test tubes. A bulb? <laughs> oh, that's what the berries are called. Oh. Well, how do I- how do I grab it from here? It's not letting me grab it. Yeah. How do I grab that from here? It's not letting me grab it. That's a problem. Is there anything I can use the dark light on in this room? I- uh, I guess. <laughs> What's the point of all these flowers? There- there's just money chilling here. Okay. Is there any other of those flowers? Oh, wait, hang on, hang on. I think I see what I need to do here. <laughs> I can use this one. So what I can do here is I can drop down, I think. Yeah, yeah, so I can take this over here now. Can I fly into it from over here? Oh no, I can't. Oh, that's I think I think that's like glass that I can't get into. Oh, okay. And that's how you get the gem. This is a this is a B1 exclusive gem, by the way. So, yeah. I can only get it in this level specifically. As far as I know, I think that's everything in this room. I mean, now I just have to beat the level, so I can I don't have to worry about anything. Because there's no other gems in this level. The rest are B2 and onwards. Oh yeah, the frickin' Buckethead. He thinks he's in PvZ. <laughs> yeah, I'm carrying the bucket. Alright, let's fill up the bucket a bit. I forget. Did I put the did I put the bucket here? I think I did. Yeah. Yep. And then I gotta fight the big guy. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's something I'm gonna try and do every week. I'm gonna try and watch, like, maybe one Harry Potter movie a week. Because <laughs> they are pretty enjoyable, but I have to- I have to have, like, you know, I have to watch them at, like, 9 or 10, because they're, like, 2 to 3 hours long. <laughs> that's the only thing. They're, they're pretty long movies. And that kind of brings me to, like, a different, uh, idea, right? <laughs> At some point, I also thought of watching, like, the Lord of the Rings movies, because I remember my dad, he tried to show me those movies as a kid, but I never really, um, I didn't really enjoy them that much. Or I, I, I don't know, like, since, because of how long they were, I didn't feel like sitting through them, but now since I, like, like, you know, really, you know, f feature-length films, I guess we can say, <laughs> Um, I'm kind of more open to the thought of watching long movies like Lord of the Rings. So, it's just in a kind of an idea I'm giving myself if there's, like, ever a movie series I want to watch in my spare time sometime. 
Kind of annoying you can't skip this, though. I guess it's because I got the boo and the gems. So there's two more gems, a new boo. More money I don't need. So if you get 30 gold, 30k gold, you get to unlock concept art. I like how concept art is just like... It's just ag agreed upon, like... That's, that's your reward for completing shit in games now. You just get, um... Like, concept art now. Okay, so next up, we need to get the, uh... Baguette, as it's called. And it says, you need to go to the garden. Okay, so, garden and the sewer. Yeah, sewer, sewer and garden for this level. So, let's do it. Hold on, hold on. Isn't, isn't, uh, Kazumi Totaka the voice of Eged? Didn't I already mention that in another episode? I'm pretty sure he is. Oh, camera kind of glitched out again. <laughs> it happened again, bro. <laughs> the fucking glitch, dude. It doesn't really affect gameplay much. It's just kind of a funny thing that happens. Alright, now if I remember correctly, I need to flower this one. I don't know. I think I might as well just water all of them. There's a garden. Courtyard. Wait, isn't the garden on the second floor? No. Garden? Oh, the garden's over here. Garden and the sewer. Which one's the sewer? Probably in the basement, right? Yeah, sewer. The boo is in the sewer. And the garden has the gem that I need. I gotta stop going for the money. There's no reason to get it. I think that was a waste of time, actually. <laughs> so let's try and let's try and go down there. Oh, what's my current- what's the current objective right now? Um... To explore the interior of the hollow tree. Aren't they supposed to, like, try and get into the gate and then, like, find out that, like, oh, it's broken? Or something? Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. Kind of forgot to do that part. Yeah, so if I didn't do that, I wouldn't have been able to make progress. There is a gold guy in this room, but I don't feel like bothering. I guess we'll get all the weather veins. There you are. There you are. Get back here, buddy. <laughs> I love this music, man. This, this shit never gets old. Yeah, sure. The money is real tempting. Approach me. Ah. You gotta, you gotta suck them up. You gotta suck them up when they're like about to dive at you. There. I keep forgetting that you have to do it that way. Oh, you're not getting away from me, bro. So imagine you just leave the weather vane behind. And you gotta be like, what the fuck, Luigi? <laughs> hmm. Oh yeah, I do remember you need to come out here, but I don't remember where the um I don't remember where the gem is. 
Is it, well, either the boo is out here, or, um... I don't know, actually. I don't remember. It's one of the two. There's gotta be a bucket somewhere around here. Hmm. We'll look around, we'll look around. We got the big guy. Well, that was quick. That was Whoops. Yeah, yeah. Bro, how did I not kill that guy? Thankfully, I'm enjoying my ghost busting adventures again today. <laughs> so. Can you, like, get the bucket off your head, bro? <laughs> there we go. So now I can take this and I can water shit, which I don't remember if this is what you need to do. You gone. I'll water the plants anyway. That's one of them. And here's another one right here. He 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 in here somewhere. Probably, probably, Jen probably is in one of these. I'm just dumb and I never watered them or something last time. Well, let's find out. That is sure enough what I did just forgot to do. Also, I see you, bro. <laughs> I don't know if I missed that one, honestly. Maybe it's just because I wasn't too familiar with the watering mechanics yet? I don't know. Either that or I just somehow did not see it. I don't really understand it either. Also, I'm finally done watching uh, Vine Sauce play Silent Hill 2 Remake. So that's pretty cool. I gotta say, that is, that is a pretty good game. It hits me in the same way that the, the original did. Because as you guys know, I recently finished playing Silent Hill 2 with Jose. Uh, me and him, I think, I think me and him both got the leave ending. I'm pretty sure. But we also did watch the other endings, like the in-water ending, and that one, that one's kind of, that one's kind of fucked up. <laughs> Alright, so where's the goon at? I, li I like the green light, honestly. Can I just keep that? Can I just keep the gr can I just keep the green light for from now on? I kind of want I kind of want to honestly. Just keep it on the other Luigi's that I do. There, there's nothing here. This isn't the boo. Well, actually, how do you get to the basement from here? That's what I'm wondering. Well, I need to go down to the basement at some point. <laughs> I forget how... Where's this? This isn't a real door, right? Hmm. There's a way to get to the basement. I don't remember how. Hmm. Is there, like, a stairs indicator? I don't remember. I think eventually you go to the basement, though, so I won't worry about it too much. <laughs> but my dumbass is just trying to remember how this freaking level works. Because we're going to have to replay every level at some point. I mean, technically, you don't have to replay any levels. But you, you do have to replay them if you, you know, don't figure out where um, everything is. Like me, <laughs> you know, when you if you don't figure out where everything is on your first go about. I mean, some levels can be beaten. Oh, there's that gem. So the next gem isn't not is not going to be for a while. The next gem is the octagon, I think, which is in the sky bridge in B4. Same with the coffin. 
So those are B4 exclusive gems, so we'll have to wait for that. Oh, gold bone again. I don't think we need to be in here. Love those games usage of harps. I think I, I might have mentioned that before too. I'm not sure. I gotta steal your shit. You never saw it coming. He's blind now. He can't see anything. He's gonna need to go to an eye doctor. <laughs> oh, free heart. Oh, yeah, wasn't there that mouse that had the frickin', um, the frickin' gem or whatever? I don't think he has it anymore. I think I stole it already. Ooh, I got him. I just barely got him. I do it. I do it. I find it really funny that there's just some people who will refuse outright to buy the new Mario games because Charles isn't in it. Some people are a little too attached. You know, I, I'm still willing to give Kevin a chance. As much as I love, you know, Charles' performance, I think, uh, you know, let's just say, let's just call Kevin a rising star for right now. Because he has massive potential, especially with how much I liked uh, Mario and Luigi Brothership. Oh, right. Didn't I get stuck in this room for like half an hour or something? Alright, approach me. He is really fast. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot how I did this room, honestly. Do I have to? I forget if I have to check one of these. Oh yeah, yeah. There we go. You see how much faster that is in 60 FPS? He came out like instantly. <laughs> yeah, there definitely are going to be some gameplay changes because of the 60 FPS. I can already tell. Not sure what that does. We got to get to the basement somehow. I don't remember how we got there in the first place, honestly. So I think, yeah, I think we don't need to go here. I think we need to get to the basement somehow, but I don't remember how you get there from here. That's the problem. I just know you eventually go to the basement. I know there's a toad mission there or whatever. I don't know, it's been a bit. Alright, we can't get to the basement from there. There's that mouse again with that gem that I already have. <laughs> Yeah, how do you get to the basement again? I don't remember. I don't think you do anything with that. Okay, I kind of like this. I kind of fuck with this green flashlight, honestly. Oh, what it is? It's just really something really nice about it. Do you, you get to the basement from here? Can you, oh, I think you need to get there from the bedroom. 
I, I seem to remember this bedroom having an entrance to the basement. Right? Can Luigi sit on the bed? Why is there a bucket in here? Another good question. What the fuck's the point of this? Does it have to do with the fan? Oh yeah, it's the ceiling fan. That's how you get to the basement. And I, need, I need the bucket with me, is that why the bucket's here? Yeah, the bucket is the secret entrance. It's the locked girl's secret room. Okay, well before I um, progress, we need to kill these goons. <laughs> You're stealing your glasses. Oh, you still have your glasses. Go blind! You need to go blind! Alright, well there's somewhere here. Oh, you got your glasses back! Nah, you're blind again. Four. Okay, hold on. Let me try that again. There we go, perfect. So, there's another guy in here, I'm pretty sure. There he is. Okay. I'm going to ignore that for now. I want to go into the sewer, because that's where the boo is in this level. Who would have guessed? Who would have guessed the boo is in here? Somewhere in here, apparently. Ooh, money! Oh, is it right here? It, no? Hmm. Oh, wait. Fake, fake bars. Oh, he's not in there. I just know the boo somewhere. There he is. Am I boolean the true or false? As someone who's who, as someone who's dealt with code, I've uh, I understand that joke. <laughs> I dealt with code a little bit in high school. Oh, damn! Look at that boo go! Look at him go! <laughs> wow, he got massively fucked up. That boo is, like, actually going insane. <laughs> I would like to have your big boos. Big, 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 big. Right, I got all the wheels. The veins. Yeah, I knew the mission would end after I got that. So, I, I, that's why I decided to ignore it. <laughs> very, very smart of me to do that. Well, I got a better rank. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I think you have to like not get hit at all or something to get um to get the gold. It's probably where part of that's coming from. I'm getting, I'm getting so much use out of this dying piece of hardware. <laughs> this dying, this dying switch, this poor eight-year-old switch is getting so much, you know, it's getting so much sweat out of it. How do, how do I get the spectral mass up, then? I don't know. Okay, but that's another level done. Graveyard shift. As far as I know, there's no gems in B3 that I missed, so we can just do this level, get the boo, and then uh, peace out. Apparently, this is a 14-minute level. 
If I do it quickly, it might be even quicker than that. We'll see. Oh yeah, right, these guys are here now. I mean, I know I look like Jelly, but come on, man. Oh yeah, right, we gotta get rid of this first. So where's the boo in this level? The boo is in the crypt. Okay. Well, where's the crypt at? Is that in the basement? Wait, no, no, no. I think the crypt is, uh, it's back there. Okay. It's past the graveyard. Oh, isn't that where we free the toads? That's where we free the toad and we have to fight the sisters, right? Which, um, dead ass? I still think the sisters might be, like, the hardest fight in the game, honestly. <laughs> I never had more trouble with that. I mean, the boss of, um... The boss of the fourth world was kind of tough. The abandoned mine. But, um... Oh, hey, buddy. Rawr. You ain't clapping me, buddy. I love how, um, they can live at, like, one health, and they just, they'll still get away. Nope. Just because you're green, you don't get to live. So I think I'm just supposed to, you know, put the, vein, the veins on. Yep. Hello! And we gotta do the puzzle, the puzzle, we gotta do the puzzle this time. We have to go up here. Wow, aren't you, you think you're so fucking funny? Why don't you get over here? Hey, come on, come on. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, if I remember correctly, you have to go up the correct way. Um, I don't remember which one's the correct way. Okay, there we go. So the fastest way to do that would be to go that go the go go pretty, pretty much the way that I did. <laughs> oh. Yeah, went go crazy. Hello. Oh. Lee, he does not like crypts. <laughs> it's a crits, crypts, not crypts, like crippled people. <laughs> All right, is there anything over here? No. If I remember correctly, I don't know if you need to go over here, but I'm gonna do this anyways, just to be safe. Kill the spooters. I might as well. It's free money. Yeah, point that upwards. And just, can I go in here? Yep. Alright. I think there's a gem over there, but you don't need it, because I already have it. Oh, that summons gold spooters. I didn't know that, actually. <laughs> don't, know if I, don't think I found that on my first playthrough. I am pretty excited to go back and eventually watch Shark Conroy's playthrough of this game, though. Yeah. Seems interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Whoa, wow. I'm gonna get those gold bars back there. Yeah, there are those times where um, playing a game 60 FPS can actually make the game harder. I don't think- I don't know if this is one of those times, necessarily. But, um... It's definitely possible. Hmm. 
Did the booze in here somewhere? I don't know where though. Scooter. That's not a scooter, that's a froge. Are you is the boo in here? Oh, that's money. I'm actually not too sure where the boo is. Use the dark light everywhere. Wait, hang on, I see something. Bro, screw you, boo. Nobody or mouse. Nobody cares about you. I'm Beluga. <laughs> Supposed to be a pun on like baloney or something. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. No, the toad can away. I gotta kill this boo first. Yeah. Bro, I live with like two health. Alright, come here. Get in here, bro. Get in my get in my basket. My basket. <laughs> hey mouse, you good? Oh. Yeah, he he's fine. He he just he had to take that in. <laughs> There's bats everywhere. Alright. The toads are a little janky, but I don't mind them too much, honestly. Alright. Here we go, we get to fight the sisters now. Oops. Bad start already. This will be a little bit easier with um with my ma with my poltergeist upgrade though. Thanks for the hearts. <laughs> I still think this might be one of the hardest fights in the whole game, honestly though. Just because you have to fight three freaking big ladies at the same time. And also that can happen, which is annoying. <laughs> and they put this so early in the game, too. Okay. It'll be a lot easier with just two of them, though. Hard, the hard part's done. Yeah, thankfully this is a lot easier once you have the Poltergeist upgrade. <laughs> yeah, look at that. I mean, I'd argue I didn't take took as much damage. Alright, come on, Todd, let's go. I gotta carry you to the switch. I think I gotta, like, put you on the crypt or something. Yeah. And then the, uh... Okay, so that's where the boo would be normally, by the way. Well, he, that's around where he'd be. But he's not in this level. Oh. I gotta force you over there. <laughs> You had to say hey like three times. <laughs> Yellow. Yeah, that was a that was a pretty easy one though. Oh, yes. oh, oh. Woo! Get the IA, motherfucker. I got a worse rank that time. 
<laughs> I got a worse rank than I did before. I guess treasure really- I guess time doesn't really matter as much as how much treasure and ghosts you catch, huh? Oh, wow. Alright, well next up we have B4, which has a few exclusive ghosts in it. Or no, not ghosts. A few exclusive uh, gems, rather, I should say. Ugh. Probably at the end of the game we'll check all the booze that we have and get a reminder of like, which ones we have. 420! Alright. So that's done. Pool party. Yeah, pool party has some stuff in it. Suku suku. Yeah, we're either looking for the... I think we're looking for the coffin and the octagon, I'm pretty sure. Well, now let's check where the boo is. The family room. Okay. Well, where's the family room at? On the third floor. Okay. I forget where the, um... I don't remember if you can even do anything in this room right now. I'm supposed to go to... I'm supposed to get to the fifth floor somehow. <laughs> I forget how, though. Hmm. Well, man, I can go in the tree, obviously. But these guys are in the way. So I think I need to go over here and get raped by ghosts. Or plant gangs. I think this is how you get there. I mean, there is this bridge now. some land thing. Where's the water at? I forget what you gotta do in this room. Oh, right here? Water the plant. That's how you get up. The rumpus room. It's like a completely different one. Blue box. <laughs> Ooh. There's more ghosts. Watch out. Oops, more ghosts. Watch out. Yeah, see how much faster I did that room compared to the first time? Also, there's a missing, uh... There's a, I think this is where the boo is. Come out, the boo! Wait, no, the boo's in the family room. What am I talking about? He's in here somewhere, I think. Am I always in this room again? No, the gem's in the sky bridge. So yeah, he's in here somewhere. Oh, look at that. That's just money. Alright, check everything. There's definitely something here. Oh, yeah, like a painting? Weird-ass painting. 
I always know you fall for me. Booby trap strikes again. Kind of reminds me of Booby Hatch from the first game. Look at him go. <laughs> Alright, get in my get in my vacuum. Small. <laughs> Where's the sky bridge at again, or whatever it's called? On oh, F2. So I gotta go to the sky bridge, by the way. I forgot to go there. Let me go there before I go do the, um... Before I do this nonsense. Because apparently that's the only time you can get the, that gem, is in there. Is in the sky bridge in this mission, specifically. And what's the other gem that I can get, only get in this mission? The conservatory. Where's the conservatory? Actually, I, I wish I could look at what gems I'm missing. Ugh, that's so annoying. They can't. They don't tell you what gems you have. Hmm. Well, where's the conservatory at? Rooftop, water supply. Conser There's the conservatory over there. How do you get there? You have to use. You have to go to the. The water supply? I don't know. I think you need to go there. Oh, wait, wait, hang on. I got an idea. I know what I can do. Um, let me go back downstairs first. I'm going about this all really weirdly, I know. So you're, you, you, you just never think to come to this room, but there is something in here. Where is it, though? This is there. Okay, I am missing the coffin, and that is, um, this is a B4 only mission. So go to the conservatory. I gotta figure out how to get there, then. I don't remember how, though. Hmm. I'll figure it out. I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna go back outside. As long as it's not blocked off by these guys. Oh, never mind, it is. I think we'll eventually be able to kill these guys. Okay, well, okay, that kind of lowers my, um, my options on where to go. Hopefully we go to the conservatory at some point, then. At least I got that gem, because I would never have thought to go into that specific room in this mission. And I guess it's like that, because of all the vines and shit everywhere. But yeah, I guess that makes sense now, doesn't it? So now we'll go to the we'll go to the roof, I guess. I don't know. I guess I don't know if that's what we're doing now. We're in the solarium now. I mean, maybe you can go there from here. Boom. Oh yeah, right. The bit this room. I forgot that I've heard out of this room, honestly. I know we gotta find the we gotta find the doggone key here so later on. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm shuffling the beds. Alright, do your bed shuffling again. Oh, 
Oh yeah, give me that key. I gotta hear it again. <laughs> I love how disappointed he sounds. Alright, well, I think we can go out this way. Yeah, you really gotta go out of your way to get here. Well, there's flowers here, or these, these bold things here. Can I use them in this room? Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot there's a gold one here. Oh yeah, there's a door here. I don't know if I ever found this. This might be what I need to do. Yep, this is the room. But I only have one shot at this, so I gotta... I gotta do it quick. Come on, Linguini, get up there. One. Nero, come on, get it. Oh, boy. But I got it! I got the coins! Hello? What? <laughs> oh, I gotta redo the fucking mission now because I fucked up the coin challenge. God damn it. Fuck. Are you serious, bro? I gotta redo that shit all over again now. It's so dumb. Fuck this game, bro. Okay, but at least I know what to do now. So we know we know exactly where to go to, fe to beat this mission as quickly as possible, at least. I actually, I fucking had that coin, too. Like, I grabbed it and it said, like, nope, you didn't get it, dumbass. Sometimes I hate when the gems are locked behind that shit. Alright, just, uh, water that real quick. Apparently that counted. Go to the sky bridge real quick. So you just have to grab all these three flowers. Okay, so I know the route at least. I know the route for doing that room. Still dumb though, that it doesn't let you redo the challenge. You have to reset the whole fucking mission to get it. I hate that. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I do not want to get all three stars in this game. It, so it sounds honestly pretty miserable. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. As far as I'm concerned, getting all the gems and stuff is good enough for me, and all the booze. Is it the same one every time? It looks like only one it looks like only one or two guys come at it at a time. I think, I think the, regardless of how long each of the episodes are, I think we are going to limit it to um, one mansion per episode, though. Except maybe the next one, because the next one I think we'll be able to do the next We'll be able to do two mansions back to back, because less levels we have to replay. We you capture booze in this game is kind of interesting. Fast move. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Goofy ass music for catching booze. Hmm. 
So I mean, as long as you beat missions quickly, don't take damage, and maybe get a bit of treasure along the way, you can probably get a gold. I don't know how the golden... I don't know how the system works, honestly. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Oops. I thought I could skip this. Like, I like I like how these guys are just called sneakers. Sneak sneakers, sneakers, sneaksters, I don't remember. I'm calling them sneakers. <laughs> Ooh. Only if you can catch multiple at once. That'd be pretty sick if you could do that. We saw the funny already, we can skip that. Maybe if I'm lucky, I'll get to work on Down Bad Edition today, I'm not sure. I've been taking- I've been, I've been very slow with Down Bad Edition recently. I'm just kind of like, probably gonna be stuck on Chapter 7 for the next, like, month, honestly. Then again, nobody's been playing Down Bad Edition, so I haven't really uh, been all that motivated to work on it. I don't know. Alright, let's try this again. I got another shot at this shit. So take the take the right path first and then take the middle path. That's how you do it. Yeah, okay. Well I wish I knew that first, but now we can do it this way. <laughs> much easier once you know the actual route. So that's the last gem of this damn mansion. I'm just really glad that we barely have to replay any missions in uh, Clockworks and Abandoned Mine, really. It's gonna make it a lot easier to go back to. Playing this music again, bro. Wait, Luigi gets hurt when he hits the fire? What the fuck was that, bro? Hey, bird ups. Oh man, it does the it does the fucking Luigi's Mansion one thing when when you when you're going through doors, everything freezes. I don't know why. There's just something really cool about that. It's such a Luigi's Mansion thing. But I have the door, or I have the key. <laughs> Is that not what I'm supposed to do? I guess not. I kind of miss the Luigi's Mansion one thing where you could check what door the key goes to. And then again, I think that's what I like about Luigi's Mansion one so much, though, is that um, how do I even say it? Um, oh, oh, here's the key. There, like I, the. The well, first game just feels very Metroidvania, -y, if that makes sense. Because it has that whole thing where, like, um... You know, like, you're going from what, this place to this place to this place. And it's not broken up into, like, levels. It's just one big place. And I think that's why I like the first one so much. But ever, ever since, like, Luigi's Mansion 2 and 3 came up with the whole, like, hey, let's have, like, 50 different mansions and 50 different floors, it feels very disconnected, right? And I guess that's just kind of my problem, really, with modern... It's just kind of where I prefer the original compared to the newer ones. I guess if it makes sense, the this game feels more Mario-y because it has a level. It's level based. Oh, forgot about this guy. Every time I freaking forget about that guy. I 
That's a big lawn chair, bro. Skeletons on your lawn chair. <laughs> Alright, well, there's the key. Alright, this is where you get introduced to these bozos. Oh, yeah, I think you can you can spot these guys by using um this. I can catch them so fast they don't even get a chance to scare me. It's kind of cool. Hey, give me that key, bro. I can't suck the key from down here. I gotta go grab it. <laughs> That's lame. Alright, well there you go. There's the level. That's 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 it. That's the mission. <laughs> now we just gotta go do the the, the next level. Ciao. Yeah. Huh? You. Oh yeah. Of course Gooey he would say you. I did that mission pretty quickly. I only took 29 damage. And I still got a, a silver star. Man, the, the rankings are way more strict than I thought they'd be. Like I thought, as long as like you play the level somewhat competently and you, you know, know your way around it, I thought you'd get a gold. But nope, you have to play perfectly. But hey, you know what? I'm not saying I might not. Um, what can I say? I'm not saying I won't get all the gold stars. Like, maybe I'll do that someday if I'm really bored. Maybe, like, as a side thing. You never know. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe 20 years from now, <laughs> I'll be like, you know what? I want to get all the gold stars in Luigi's Mansion, too. And, uh, you know, I can. <laughs> I will be able to. But for right now, I'm thinking, you know, my main priority is just going to be get the gems, get the booze. And that's it. <laughs> that's all I'm thinking. So now we gotta go to the tool shed to get the boo. That's where we're supposed to go. Uh, and the tool shed is over here. Well. We gotta, um, we all gotta keep an eye on where the Polter Pub goes. Because, yeah, that's something I need to remember. The Boo's in here, actually. He's pretty close. But where is he? Is he just in one of these? Well, there's the Polter Pub. Hmm. Where is the boo? Hmm. This is the tool shed, right? Yeah. It says he's in here somewhere. Hmm. But where? Is he in the ladder? I know, he was in the ladder this whole time. Shovel? Shovel, you good? <laughs> is that what I'm, that's not what I'm supposed to do, is it? Hmm. Maybe there's something on the ceiling, I'm not sure. Um, is it one of these things? Okay, where is the boo at? Um, find the polter pup, chase it into the garden. When Luigi returns to the tool shed, all the furniture will be gone. Oh. Okay, I gotta chase the Polter Pup first. By the way, I'm getting reminded of, of a game from my childhood. So, I saw Vinny do a stream of, um, of all things, Piglet's Big Game. 
which is a game that I remember from my childhood, and I don't remember much about it. I just remember the game scaring the shit out of me. And it seems I'm not alone in that, because apparently people are saying that game is like a baby Silent Hill game. Which, um... If that's true, that means that I've been exposed to Silent Hill-esque games as young as, like, two years old. <laughs> Which is kind of crazy to think about. And honestly, it's kind of making me curious to check out the game. <laughs> and see why it's scary. So I have to literally reveal everything in this room. Yeah. Literally, I'm not kidding, literally everything. Including the, the shovel, which isn't there now for some reason. Well, maybe it is. Oh, no, there's the boo. I'm French Boodle, aren't I beautiful? I will admit, this is a pretty easy boo to miss. He's pretty easy to miss. Because of the fact that, um, you have to find, you have to locate literally everything in this room. Oh man, it's times like this where I really wish I could just end the level and go back, but I have to beat the rest of it to get the, um... Hello. I have to beat the level to, um, you know, actually get the keep the boo, if that makes sense. Mario? Mario? <laughs> Mario? Mario? <laughs> Mario? 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 <laughs> I'm kind of curious if, um, when you're low on health, his, his Mario changes or not. That was always, like, one of my favorite little details from the original. But I have to take damage to find out, and I don't know if I want that. Well, here, we can take damage right here. We can take damage from these scooters. Or not. Or they could just piss off. It went back. Apparently spiders do hiss. <laughs> oh, right there. I think the polter pub went up. So we need to go up. <laughs> An up arrow? Up? Of course. Hello, polter pup. Are you in this room? Yeah, he's definitely in here. He's in here, all right. I don't think I don't think he came up here though. That'd be dumb if he came up here. All right. Well, I see this goo. I see you back here, you goon. Those guys are really weird, though. I think the polter bulb's in, like, one of these. I think there's supposed to be a frickin' piano here, mate. <laughs> or, I think it's an organ, not a piano. I mean, an organ is a kind of piano. <laughs> well, it's a, uh, it's a key instrument. Actually, what do you call it? What do you call it when something has keys? I forget. Hmm. I don't remember. I wonder if you're able to catch the polter puff early or not. That's another question I have. <laughs> One of my many questions.
love how dynamic the music gets. It, it is one thing I really like. I kind of wish the original Luigi's Mansion had dynamic music like that. The thing is, I feel like I've done everything I can with the original Luigi's Mansion. I did a 4K widescreen PAL hidden mansion. <laughs> like, there, how much more can you do with that game? There's, there's only there's like I did literally everything. The only the only place I can go from there is to do um, the 3DS version. That's like yeah, that's the only thing left you can do with the game is play play, play the 3DS version. Wow, nice. <laughs> All right, boo time. Thank God I didn't get caught by that guy. Alright, I'm gonna get the Holter Pop. He's mine now. Money! I can't get the money, can I? Yes, I can. Thankfully, they give you a bit of time to move around before Ike calls you, so you can you can grab that money. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, that's a mission mission accomplished. I did it. Mission complete. Yeah, I did that pretty quickly. Yeah, I got a gold. Finally. Yeah. So you don't need to get a shit ton of money. You just need to not take damage. <laughs> Well, that answers that, I guess. No damage run, basically. No damage run and speed run at the same time. And I guess get some ghosts and get a bit of money along the way. It all kind of adds up, I guess. Boo. More money that I don't need. And I got hostile intrusion. Well, I still can't skip. <laughs> I love retarded Egad when his glasses are all fucked like that. Hey, I mean, I got a gold, so... I'm pretty happy about that. I'll take, like, the sum of all my grays. Anyways, now that I have the time, let's do Gradual Infiltration. Hey, youngster, we've got an unexpected development at the Gloomy Manor. Just when we thought it was finally free of ghosts, the Periscope picked up more paranormal signals. It's gotta be ghosts, but I have no idea where they're coming from. In any case, they're probably up to no good, so we need to capture them. I'll pixelate you back to the gloomy manor and we'll take it from there. Sound good? No? Well, think of it as character building. Okay, off you go. See, I'm kind of interested to see what these bonus levels are like. The only thing I know about them is that you have to catch a lot, and I mean a lot of ghosts. That's the only thing I know about it. Oh boy. Alright, Luigi, I got a reading on the ghosts. Check your map. Capture all the ghosts as soon as possible. Oh. It's one of these, dude. This is really cool. Well, these are fun, so let's let's go do it. Apparently you can beat this in like four minutes, so I don't know, we'll see. So there's ghosts in here. Okay, let me, let me take let me, let me let me take care of those glasses for you. Or not. I'm kinda glad I'm doing this after I have um all of the like upgrades. Wow, look at Luigi, he was all green. 
Oh, and Tardation, more rings are piling up. They're in two rooms this time. Okay, um... In the foyer and the mudroom. Okay, foyer time then. What is bro doing? He's in the wall. I mean, I guess he's a ghost. He can just do that, but whatever, you know. I love how Luigi just turns all green. That's really funny. Thankfully, I know my way around uh, Gloomy Manor very well now, so... This is pretty cool. So these missions are just gonna devolve into go to the room, catch the ghosts, piss off, catch more ghosts. I mean, these guys are gonna be pretty easy. Hey, get, give me your glasses. Really, bro? The glasses guys are kind of annoying, though, because you have to get rid of their glasses first. Alright, one more wave, I'm assuming. They keep going. Check your map, Sonny. Um, library kitchen. Okay. <laughs> this is pretty fun. I like this. This is honestly a good reward for getting all the booze, I'd say. And also, all the maps are open. Plus, I believe you can get all the gems in, in these levels, too. So technically, everything is just open. Which is kind of interesting. Alright, anybody else? Hey, yeah, yeah, Poltergeist guy is here. Roger. <laughs> Thankfully, I don't think there's a time limit on this one. You just kind of have to catch them. Get over here. Okay, now I gotta go to the second floor. There's some goons up there. I think you get a good rank if you do it under four minutes, but I am probably not gonna make it in time. Pretty sure that's how much you have, how fast you have to do it. Burner, 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 burner. <laughs> it's so fast. Burner, 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 burner. This is this is this is what anxiety sounds like. I'm done. Four thirty. That's actually not bad. Not a bad time at all. Hello. That'll do, Luigi. You weren't exactly quick about it, but you cut them out. Wow, fuck you, Egad. <laughs> what do you mean that wasn't fat quick enough, bro? Oh, yes. oh, oh. I did it. Oh, oh. So not a gold star, I'm guessing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, to get a gold, you probably gotta do it in under four minutes, then. Oh, oh, oh. Sounds about right. How the fuck did you do that under four minutes, then? You just gotta, like, know where everything is, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but those are nice and- those are nice and quick, I think. I think each of them are probably gonna be around, like, four to eight minutes. So they're nice and- they're nice quick little bonus missions. Glad you made it back safe, Luigi. There were more ghosts up there than I originally anticipated. Uh -huh. 
just money. That's all you get. You just get money. Those ghosts were no match for you, young fella. No match at all. But don't get too confident, son. You can't afford to let your guard down with all those good all those ghosts about. Anyway, I still have no idea what triggered the ghost resurgence. The scientific method doesn't exactly apply to paranormal phenomena, you know. That said, there's no mystery that science can't eventually solve. I'll take a silver, though. Anyways, let's go do the Haunted Towers bonus level as well. Thankfully not, we don't have to play this fucking level ever again. <laughs> Still don't know how I got a gold on that, by the way. Luigi, I'm afraid I have what we in certain elite scientific circles call bad news. Remember what the what, when the Gloomy Manors had some unexpected visitors? No, no, I don't mean the spiders. Keep your shirt on, Sonny. But oh, Luigi's taking a shirt off? I'm talking about those ghosts that came out of nowhere. Well, this time, the paranormal signals seem... stronger. We better play it safe and send you in to investigate. As usual, I'll be watching your progress and guiding you from here. Look lively. Okay. Yeah, these are probably gonna- I'm probably gonna limit these to like an hour and a half per episode. I don't know. Seems to be the best. Oh. Alright, Luigi, I've marked the location of the ghost on your map. Hop to it. Okay, I see it, though. And the music's different here as well. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at these guys. Alright. More ghosts about, my boy. Check the map and give him what for. Thing is, is, you can't really figure out where they are until Egad tells you. <laughs> F2 and F3, okay. That's not bad. Luigi, Luigi, you had the 1 in 100%. Well, not one, one, the 1 in 100 trip chance, and you really got it? That's crazy. Well, let's go up here. There's guys in here. Well, I got both of those guys. Alright, nice. So then we need to go up. And then go down, and there's more guys in there. Ah, oh, there's a big fat fuck in the kitchen. Go figure. Oh, there's there's a uh, jump scare guys in here too. Nope, you're not getting me. Here are those gold bars. I do it. I do it. It's so annoying that you can't check the map. Uh, F1, okay. Is there no quick way to get back to F1, though? <laughs> F1, what is this formula cart? Thankfully, I know how to get back there quickly. We can just fall through the gap in the floor. If I can get this done in four minutes, then uh, I'll be happy. We'll see, though. Alright, what's up? Big guy. Okay, another room. Wait, how did the how did these guys get away? I got them though. 
Okay, one more minute, one more minute. If I can do these, if I can do this in one minute, then I get a gold rank, I think. I still want the gold rank, bro. <laughs> Fat bastard. Shit. I think I did it. 329. That's good enough. Atta boy, Luigi, that's the last of them. You really caught those ghosts quick. The periscope could hardly keep up. You ready to come on back? Hold on. Oh, actually, that sounds like fun. I think, you know what? I wonder if speedrunners do these. You know what? They should have... They should hold a thing at, like, Games Done Quick. Where they have some guy just play through all of these intrusion levels and see how fast he can get them done. There you go. Gold rank. So if you get them done in under four minutes, you get a gold. That's pretty nice. That was fun, I like those levels. It really reminds me of the penultimate mission we did. And I'm kinda glad that we're doing those now. Anyways, I think that'll be it for today's episode. I mean, I'm pretty content at least. <laughs> I know I could count on you, Luigi. Good job. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you're starting to enjoy this gig. <laughs> Eh, uh, yeah, beneath that fragile quiver exterior lies a daring thrill seeker with a heart of gold. But Luigi, Luigi secretly a psychopath. Money! Anywho, where were we? Yes, ghosts. Always with the ghosts. What I still don't understand is where all these ghosts are coming from. The periscope doesn't detect them until they're there, so I can't trace their origin. Well, they're gone now, so let's get back to our quest. That's a pretty satisfying noise. Man, I got, like, almost all golds in Haunted Towers. Alright, so in the next episode, um, we'll go back to Haunted Clockworks, which actually doesn't have too much to do there, because I got oh, most of the gems and most of the booze, so I won't have to replay too many levels. Uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll get to that when I get to that, which will be tomorrow. And also, uh, Secret Mine has quite a bit to go through, but there's only, like, two levels. Like, only three levels I actually have to play. Like, I might have to do D1 to get some gems, but if I can just get everything and if I can just get all the gems in these two levels and get the booze, it'll be pretty quick, I think. I don't know why Secret Mine only has four levels. It's kind of weird. You think they were planning to put in more, but they ran out of time, so they, they were like, eh, whatever, just make Secret Mine short or something. Maybe that's why people, um, maybe that's why people don't like this mansion much, because of how, like, there's not a lot of levels to it? I don't know. And I barely got anything, oh, I got half the gems in Treacherous Mansion, I suppose. But I missed quite a lot of them, which I'm kind of disappointed about. So yeah, we got, uh, we got... Um, amethysts, emeralds, rubies, sapphires, and diamonds. And they all come in the same goddamn shape. <laughs> Anyways, in the next episode of Luigi's Mansion 2, we'll probably do both cold, old clockworks and secret mine at the same time, because there's not that many levels I have to replay. I'll see though, it depends. And then after that, a uh, finale, where we do, um... All the we do we get the rest of the gems in the treacherous mansion, which most of the levels we've caught the booze in already. So we'll just figure out if there are any gems that are like E1 exclusive or E2 exclusive. You know, we'll do the bonus level and then we'll do uh, stop the nightmare. That's what I'm thinking. Actually, I don't think I can do the bonus level until I beat the final boss. So that might have to wait. I guess we'll see. But anyways, as always, guys, make sure to like and subscribe to YouTube and Twitch. Um, I don't know what else I have planned for today in terms of streams. Uh, I kind of just plan to take it easy today since it's, uh, what, a Tuesday? A Wednesday? Yeah, it's a Wednesday. I might take it easy today. I don't really have any big plans. So, I think that'll I'll be fine. But uh, if I do another stream today, it'll either be um, Luigi's Mansion 2 again or uh, maybe Tower of Trials. 
or who knows, maybe something else. Uh, may, who knows, maybe someone will bug me and say like, hey, you wanna play this game? You never know, you, ne you never know, life's unpredictable. And sometimes when life is unpredictable, that's the most exciting part of life. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. But anyways, uh, I'm probably going to install some other mod next time, some other fun skin. Uh, I'm thinking about doing uh, the classic Luigi. And then for the finale, I'm going to do Mr. L, is what I'm thinking. So yeah. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next episode.